The San Diego City Council is hashing out a plan that would dra uh, drastically cap the number of short term vacation rentals in the city, enforcing a lottery that would limit the number of rentals. It comes after years of complaints and wild parties that turn neighborhoods upside down. Our ABC 10 News anchor Vanessa Van Hefty has why some homeowners say the process is not fair. In an attempt to end vacation rental horror stories, San Diego City Council voted this year to limit short-term rental homes to 30%. This means the current 19,000 homes operating as short-term rentals will now be cut to just 5,400. But critics called in by the dozens. Homeowners arguing they will have to sell if they're not in the lucky pool who win the lottery. Oh, you career politicians aren't listening to any of this. This is all for show. You've already made up your mind, let's face it. To date, the council hashed out how to regulate and what to charge. It's been a process years in the making. The lottery style ordinance with a new set of rules is now set to take place in July of next year. Many pleaded to grandfather in good hosts who rely on the rentals as their sole income. Give everybody a chance, but give those good actors and long term people more of a chance. The plan calls for rentals to be limited at 1% of the city's more than 54,000 housing units. A special license will now cost hosts around $1,000 a year. I just think limiting the amount of hosts doesn't prevent bad guests from coming. They'll continue to come regardless of how many hosts you have. Um, I think the solution should be penalizing bad guests by blacklisting them from running in San Diego as well as revoking host license who have recurring um, disturbances. The other problem this aims to solve the housing availability in San Diego, freeing up thousands of homes for families and other long term rentals who find it challenging to find affordable housing in our city. Vanessa Van Hefty, ABC 10 News. Those new rules will need the final stamp of approval by the California Coastal Commission.